Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with my first LEGO Avatar 2023 review, or otherwise my first Avatar 2 The Way of Water uh, review. And this one's on the Ilu Discovery, of which the smallest set of the wave, of course. So on the front of the box here, we which have the LEGO and Avatar logos, and also an interesting new kind of border, kind of similar, kind of like the one that we saw in the last wave, but at least a little bit different for the new Way of Water one, of course. See, picture of the set swimming through the ocean, of course, and the two minifigs included, and age recommendation is 8 and up, set number 75575 has 179 pieces. Oh, also to note is, with all these reviews, these will all, since they're related to the new one, the Way of Water, is that some things that I'm going to say throughout these reviews will, will will most likely contain spoilers and all. So if you haven't seen The Way of Water, go see it and come back to this video, of course. So if you have seen it, continue watching, of course. But yeah. yeah so now onto the back side of the box. We would have the logos again. And is that in, it's in a diorama kind of form and a couple of the features of it and lego.com and there and now onto the instruction manual of which same pic or i mean a little different picture on the than the front and of course it's kind of like as they've been doing since like last last summer of course and then how they're changing to uh, paper bags and the builder app and on the back is how to win on the online survey and all the pieces that come with the set. And then advertisement of all the Avatar sets, so including all the Way of Water sets, which I expect very soon, of course, and also all of last fall's wave from Avatar 1 wave, of course. And, exp and go ahead and uh, check the card right there. There's so you can like see my playlist of them on my channel, of course. But yeah. And then the last steps and still having the little wisp things in going around. And also and of course a few screenshots and it's in there just like we've seen with the last wave, of course. But yeah. Now on to the two mini figs. First up we have Took, which is probably one which is one of Jake and Atiri's uh, kids, of course. But as you can see, same headpiece as the Navi figs in the first wave did, but however the uh, torso printing, uh, which done quite good, and also using the mid legs. Well, since he's one of the youngest of the kids, of course. And also, just like Jake Nateri had in the Flying on the Banshees set, same spear kind of build to it, but uh, with the top bit in bright blue, so which nice to see right there. And also, as you see, an all new hair piece, which with the front part, which is kind of like the current Harry Potter ones, but with the gap in the bangs, but at least it's, but it does continue with the long extensions and the bar bit for the bond on the eye, yeah, which we'll see. And also, of who is all new and exclusive is uh, Tesseria, which of course, as you see, is a little brighter shade of blue than the other Navi, since since this, of course, the new Reef Clan from this new movie, and also is using regular legs since he's a younger Navi, of course, and also as you see, same headpiece but also with some blue eyes compared to yellow, of course. So good, nice to see some of that there, and also for the arms of which, just regular minifig arms, and of course. And also a hair piece, which is kind of similar to what Jake and Atiri in the first wave kind of had, but at least interesting. But I think it's a little different here, of course, but although back torso printing on both of them, done quite interestingly. And also the tail piece, of 
for Desiria. It was nice to see in uh, Aqua Blue, of course. But also, a little interesting plot thing to point out is that if you remember in the movie that the Water Clan or the Reef Clan's Navis, uh, which have some have flat-ish tails and flat arms, of course, but since they have to swim to fin-like to swim through the water, of course, but however they just use regular tail piece in, that, which I think they sh there should be like an all new kind of tail piece that is more flat and fin-like. Well, maybe they'll improve that in the future, but yeah. So nice to see here, but so these two mini pigs, which kind of nice to get, but although I think we maybe they could have been like generic reef navies since you see, which although aside from that, oh that I'll say later, but aside from that, still nice to see here. And next to which is one little reef coral reef bill, which as you see just simplistic, oh which. As you see, have a couple of leaf branch pieces, but in both magenta and pink, since representing some bit like anemones and stuff of the coral reef that there is. And for the uh, like little section here, all those corner plates so, and a few various bricks and slopes on it. And also one of those ice cream pieces in purple. and a little pink bit on there, and also a clear uh, action stamp bit, which is most likely to oh, most likely to stand your toque mini fig on to, of course, making him look like he's swimming around the coral reef. And that's about it for that. And now on to this other coral reef bill, which is a little bit larger than that other. You see, same exact piece is going on there, and also a couple of regular fish pieces in uh, light in lime green. Kind of nice to see, but also held in, held on by clear clip pieces. Nice to see. You see, although I think they could, what well, they could have included in all new kind of piece, because if you remember this whole sequence in the movie when they were swimming through the oceans, they of which had like all kinds of odd shaped fish and things, but maybe they'll improve in the future, but whatever. And also do have that coral reef piece like we've seen in Lego City and a couple of times in Mario, Super Mario and whatnot. But at least nice to see in this uh, turquoise kind of color and, and there and a few slopes on there and also a little Technic bit sticking out, which I'll show later. And, but yeah, and on to the main part of which the Ilu itself, which, as you can see, the, the bits of it, main bits of which, kind of similar to that of the Banshee, is that we got in the first wave, but at least with, but to a lesser extent. Like for the head bit, which you may think, which you're probably saying, it's probably just the same as the Banshees in the first wave, but actually, it actually has a plus rod connection instead of a pinhole connection. Getting kind of weird to see there, but aside from that, as you see, some nice printing all over that, and of course, the jaw bit, it does come open also like the rafters and Banshees and things. And also, odd thing is underneath it, but under, but in the movie, they which had these a few uh, gill slits underneath there. I'm not sure why they didn't include that, but whatever, it's still workable. And as you see, the neck of which still has some, some all right, uh, techniques going on, and you got two bits of movement, both the up and down kind of one, and a ball joint on the top. And as for the uh, lower body bit, kind of like, kind of also built kind of like the Banshees in the first wave, but in, with some like good snot around, and although I think could have used one of these, 
kind of pieces for the chest bit instead of this kind of bit here. But at least it's still kind of workable. And, and of course, nice to see these kind of pieces here used out. It's like small fins. And as for this, for the top back part, which has a Nexo Knight's shield piece, but and one of those most likely to be representing the saddle parts of it. And of course, the main feature is like the Banshee and a uh, Thanator, you can like slit Tessia on and get, uh, like, get a better feel. One of these whip pieces and connect onto there and form the bond. And, uh, and as for these, for backside which are these four fins and of course all of which made with this film like material like we saw on most of the creatures in the first wave and of course with few technic bits underneath it since of course to you know make it more affordable of course and of course can like swivel up and down but although I think mixel ball joints could have been a lot better since they of course do go all around for that in the film. And this back side, which comprises of like curved slopes and ending off with this, with that back part in that lower section, which is just plenty of like inverted jack uh, slopes going on, and also a little technic bit on there, which for the little stand bit can like, like attach onto you like so. Of course, just like we had with the, the Torak and all and, and the Banshees and all the creatures of that. So still got the display feature going on. Although you can like position it in various ways if you want. Although I think this way it kind of it kind of well works out. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good small set for that. Like get too many things and also a little creature for twenty five bucks, which is quite good for how this. And also, uh, instead of like Tuk and Tesseria, or Tesira, yeah, Tesira, instead of those two, I think we could have gotten like generic uh, Reef Clan Navis, because since you see a whole bunch of them on these creatures, same with the skin wings, but yeah. But aside from that, at least they would still good to kind of include, but, and also this kind of works out as a good parts pack, like, Get plenty of like special various color pieces with the coral reef builds. Although I think all of which would it'd be nice if they all connected together, like the Pandora bits in the first wave, of course. But yeah. And also, what else is there to say? At least get some all right display value with this set, of course, like the other sets, obviously. And so now, if you're looking to continue your Lego Avatar collection, then and you and and get something small to add on as well, well, definitely pick this up. And also, if you by chance seen Avatar two and are looking for something to celebrate with, then definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.